If you want professional audio in your videos, then you need to know how to add audio points in Final Cut Pro. Audio points or keyframes are a fantastic way to perform fine tune audio edits for your interviews, music videos, or tutorials. If you're new to Final Cut Pro or just want to learn some tips and tricks, then this video is for you. I'll share three techniques for mixing audio like a pro, and at the end, I'll show you how to animate sounds in Final Cut Pro. All right, technique number one, your best option. Remember that word, option. It's really easy to add keyframes in the timeline. And this is great for making volume adjustments. Move your playhead wherever you wanna put an audio point or keyframe, and then option, click on it. There's a keyframe. Let's do another one. Option click. Oh, let's add a couple more. This time I'll press, I'll move my playhead where I want it and I'll press option K and then option K again. So these white diamonds represent audio points or keyframes. And now that they're in there, I can adjust them. I can move them around in time from left to right. And then I can also move them down or up. You can also add keyframes or audio points in the audio animation editor. To open that up, select your clip and press Control A. You'll have a black bar up here and a hard to read title that says audio animation. Down here you'll have some graphs. Click this arrow to select the parameter you want to add keyframes to. And then double click this area or just click this little drop down icon to expand the graph. And just like I did up here, I can add keyframes to this parameter. So I will option click here. I'll quickly add four. And now I can bring this down and fix that loud part right there. A white diamond means that's a keyframe on the active parameter you're currently editing. A yellow keyframe means that's a selected keyframe. If you see gray keyframes like this, that means there are keyframes or audio points on another parameter, just not on the current parameter you're working with. To close the audio animation editor, just press Control A again. There's a quick way to adjust just a section of audio in the timeline clip. Press R to bring up the range selection tool and then draw a selection around the part you want to change. Right there. Now I can click and drag on the volume line down to remove those peaking waveforms. You can see that the range selection tool automatically created four keyframes. And of course, these are adjustable. I can click on them and move them left to right or down and up. You can do the same thing in the animation editor, but you don't need to use the range selection tool. Just click and drag to create a section and then move your line up or down. To delete a keyframe, click on it and press Option Shift Delete, or right click on it and select Delete Keyframe. You can also select a couple keyframes, right click on one and select Delete Keyframes and it will delete both of them. You can click on one keyframe and then shift click on another one and it will select all the keyframes in between and then you can right click and select delete keyframes. Technique number two is fading in and out. And this is perfect for layering different songs or transitioning from one piece of music to another. I've got a couple songs in my playlist and I want to transition from one to another. Here's how it sounds right now. It's all right, but the first clip ends abruptly and the second one comes in a little too hard. We can use keyframes to soften that. Let's zoom in a little bit first. I'll option click where I want the fade to start and then where I want it to end. I'll pull down the keyframe at the end and I'll do the same for the incoming clip. Option click and then another keyframe added and pull down the first one. Here's how it sounds now. That sounds pretty good, but there's a faster way to do this. All audio clips come with these built-in fade in and out handles. If you hover over the end of a clip, you'll see this little circle and I can click and drag it to create a fade out. You'll know that you've selected the handle when your cursor changes to two arrows, one left and right. I can also right click on it and select a different fade curve. Here's how it sounds. Sounds really good and I didn't need to use keyframes. 
Do you hear that? That's someone hitting that like button. If this video has been helpful and you're ready to add audio points, please give it a thumbs up. And next, I'll show you how to animate audio. All right, technique number three, surround sound. Put on headphones for this section to really hear the sound effects. Here's the scene I've got set up. I've got a helicopter, police siren, and then some police chatter going on. It sounds cool, but I wanna add some movement to it. I want that motorcycle to start in front of me and then go around behind me. In Final Cut, go to the beginning of the sound clip, select it, go to the audio inspector. If you don't see the inspector, just press the inspector button here and switch pan mode to basic surround. If you need to see more of your inspector, just double click up here on the title and it will open up the inspector all the way from the top to the bottom of your screen. This is our surround sound controls. The center circle represents us, our ears, what we hear and how close we are to the sounds. So right now we're right in the middle, equally away from all the different sounds. Hover over the corner and click on the add keyframe or audio point button. That put a keyframe at the beginning. Now move forward a little bit, add another keyframe by moving this circle up and to the right. Move forward a little bit more and then bring that down and to the right. Then go right before the end, one frame in and bring it all the way behind us. Play that back. Do you hear how that motorcycle and the siren move around our head? Isn't that cool? We can modify a bunch of keyframes at once. Select the clip, press Control A to open the animator, and then select the parameter. Double click to expand the graph. So I've got one, two, three, four keyframes here. Let's add another one or two just for demonstration purposes. I can select these keyframes and now that they're selected, I can move them all together at once by clicking and dragging just one of them. I can also go down to move them all up and down relative to each other. To deselect a keyframe, select one. To move all of the keyframes at once, press and hold Command Option and then drag a keyframe up and down. Notice all of them are moving at the same time. You can copy audio points or keyframes from one clip to another. Let's go back to this dialogue example. Let's fix this peak here. I want to copy these keyframes and apply them to another clip. So I'll press R for select and I'll select all four. You can see that they're selected because they're yellow. Then I'll go up to edit keyframes and copy them or I can press Option Shift C. I can also cut them if I don't want them on this clip anymore and paste them somewhere else. Let's go to this other clip, put the playhead where I want to paste them, and then go to Edit, Keyframes, and then Paste, or Option Shift V. There you have it. Copied keyframes from one clip to another. I can also copy these parameter keyframes from this clip to the parameter keyframes in the helicopter. Let's do that and match up that movement together. First select the keyframes. I'll click on the first one and I'll shift click on the last one to select all the keyframes. Then I'll press option shift C to copy those keyframes. I'll go to the helicopter clip and I'll turn pan mode to basic surround and I'll open up the animator by pressing control A. And then I'll select the parameter I want to paste them to, left and right. I'll expand the graph. I'll move my playhead to where I want to paste the keyframes. And then I'll press Option Shift V. And there you see the four keyframes have been pasted in. This one got cut off because I didn't paste the keyframes right at the beginning. There's actually an even faster way to do this. Select the clip, press Command C to copy. Select the new clip and press Command Shift V. This will bring up the paste attributes window. I don't wanna change the volume, but I do wanna add those pan animations I made. So I'll leave that enabled and press paste. Now, if I go up to helicopter, open up the audio animation editor and select my left, right and expand the graph, you'll see all four keyframes there. And there's also keyframes for front and back. Nice work! You've learned how to add audio keyframes in Final Cut Pro. You may find this other video I made helpful. It's called How to Change Audio Pitch in Final Cut Pro, and I share some cool tricks on voice effects. Click here to check it out.